So Dart is the first truly AI native project management tool. And some of the main features are task execution. You can actually write a ticket or a task, even subtasks, and then give them off to an AI to go and do them, such as research, such as writing glossaries, blogs, etc. Now, if that wasn't the best part, you can also do subtask generation. So these tasks that the AI is going to do, you can actually get the AI to generate subtasks. Because sometimes write a blog can be a bit bit vague, bit generic, you can break it into subtasks and let AI do it. Now, in addition to that, you can actually get AI to plan the entire project. So say the project was you want to start the blog, well then you can get it to prioritize every single task that you're going to get AI to do. Now, one of the worst things that ever happens when people are planning projects is duplication. You end up having the same task worded slightly differently and you don't notice for ages, well, Dart can solve that with duplication detection. So on the Dart homepage, you can see here, we have your tasks, you have your recent tasks, your upcoming tasks, as you can see here, and then your teammates as well. Now, on the left-hand side panel, you have your home, you have my tasks, which is just more of them here, and you can see you have the title, which is cool, the dartboard that it's on, which is essentially the board that, you know, that it goes on, tags as well and the signee and status now you can open these by clicking here to open the description or here to open the task open the task see it pops open here with some properties and a description subtasks activity etc now this will look at more detail when we go to spaces which is the, the cool part now within inbox you can see here this is essentially like your notifications i can just click mark all as red and there we go so it's literally just your notifications Within intelligence, we have dashboards. So you can actually go in and create dashboards. You can go and look at dashboards, depending on whatever metrics you're wanting to follow. Now you can also generate reports using AI, for example, stand up reports and change log reports. And then you can get these to run at some interval, like every day or every week, which is cool. Additionally, you can create your own views, which again is super cool too. But the main thing, and the thing I'm most excited about with Dart is spaces or are spaces. Now if we click on tasks you can see I've got a couple of boards here. This is an example of a board. Now it's just in the list order in here but if we change this to board we can see that this probably makes more sense to you which is we have to do, doing and done. And now if you look closely here these were actually created and done by Dart AI and I'll show you how in a moment. But within spaces here this is your Dart boards. So Dartboard. This, this is the dartboards icon and these are your dartboards and this is my document folders so these are my docs here so let's create a brand new board and I'll show you all about how to do that so click on plus we can click create a dartboard and we'll call this dartboard read me generator right and then we'll open that up and so you see here that it is an empty dartboard now if I have tasks I could go and click new task or I can click on brainstorm and I can let AI decide the tasks for me. So just like a project manager, it will then go and decide what are the tickets gonna be. The reason I'm doing readme generator is this here, I had created a SAS, right? A readme generator. And it was the first time I'd ever done something of kind of this scale of actually building out a website fully functionally using AI APIs, etc. Now to actually create this was a nightmare. I have all of this documentation here, right? And this is just the plan to try and use stuff. Obviously, I have to go and look at it every day and try and figure out how it's going to look because I'm, I'm not a project manager, right? Additionally, I've been using Notion loads. As you can see, I have three different accounts under my own email. Inside them, I have these uh, private pages plus even more and they're all like, a variety of boards and they're just so hard to keep on track of, right? Well, here we could actually get AI to brainstorm the tasks that are required, say for making this readme generator, and then we can get it to do most of the tasks too. So within subject here, let's describe the project we're brainstorming about. So say, I want a project to design or to enable my software engineering team to design and build 
a readme generator application that uses AI APIs to generate the GitHub readmes. Boom. Right, and from here we can give it a time limit. Let's do a custom time limit of two minutes, because that's not too long. Click start brainstorming, and then suddenly it will start creating these tasks in here. So up the top right here, we can see that the brainstorming is going on. So we can pause that, stop it, reconfigure it. We then have this here, so we can sort stuff. We can then filter, and we can change the view. So we have this list view, we have a bold view, we can have a calendar view, and then we can also have a roadmap view, and we can actually get AI to develop the roadmap for us, which I'll show you once this generates as well. So if we go back to list, what we can do whilst this is ongoing is we'll have a quick look at one of the tasks. So develop a user-friendly interface, blah, 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 integrate version control. So I'm going to wait for a task which is more documentation-friendly because we don't want Dart going away and trying to code. So now that we have the tasks, we can click on Project AI and we can actually use the AI to plan the project and to generate reports. So the first thing to do is if we click the three dots, let's add a priority and then let's click them again and we'll add the due date, Project AI and then let's plan this project. And so we're going to pass in to Dart, Dart AI, a date range, so let's go for today until, let's say, two weeks. That'll be fine. Whoops. And then we have orders, priorities, and assignees. So there is only me. That'll be fine. Start planning. And so we are now allowing Dart AI, as you can see, to prioritize and give them a due date. Perfect. So if we then, up top right, let's click on that. We can change this to bold. See, they're all in to do. If we change it to calendar, we can see that they're spanning different dates. And if we go to roadmap, you can now see that there is a roadmap to completion for our dates. Let's change this to month, or even week to be fair. And we can see that they're all in here in our roadmap. Perfect. So let's go back to list view. Now from here, let's open one up and I'll show you how you can actually get that to do the task. So if we open this up here, you can see that it pops open in the side. This is your task, essentially your ticket. Now you can click task AI straight in here, but I do prefer the overlay view. There we go, I think that looks much better. Now we don't have a description or a subtask. So what we can do is either task the AI with writing a description, or in description, we can just do forward slash and then click on write description. Or should we brainstorm some methods? Let's write description first. And now it will write a description for this ticket. As you can see here, it's writing away. And there we go, we'll keep that. Perfect, so we now have a description for this ticket. Now, to make this even easier for AI or for your teammates or for you, you can then add subtasks. Now again, let's just get AI to break this into subtasks. You can see here it's now created all these subtasks. Now, we can either get someone to do this, so we can click on assign E and assign it to somebody, say me, right? Or why would I want to do it? Because I've got other stuff to do. Why don't I assign it to Dart AI? Or click on task AI, and you can click on do this task, and then Dart AI will assign it to itself. And here you can see it says, I can't create a system, but I can write about da da da. Right, so it can do this, which is fair enough, because that is coding, to be fair. So what we'll do is we'll make, it, make a little task for it, and we'll say, write a glossary, whoops, write a glossary for our non-technical staff to understand the future readme generator system. Boom. So I made this one. Let's open that up. Open it up here overlay and then let's assign it oh, typo let's say actually we'll write a description bam then when that's done let's see let's keep that let's task this to ai and then ai now will create this documentation inside our own documentation so you can see that it's moved it to doing if we quickly before it's done because it will be done before i know it 
there we go sorry they moved to done if we see here now documentation has been created so if we click in we can actually scroll down to the comments and we can see that the document title glossary blah 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 has been completed if you click on here bam just like that we now have a glossary with documentation generated completely by ai so honestly it is an amazing tool especially for things like courses like blogging anything written it honestly it really excels that i was trying to push my luck a little bit there with the coding but hey honestly it's really good so on the pricing front we do have a personal plan so completely free and you will get up to 14 mates unlimited tasks ai task execution etc and you can even integrate it with chat gpt and claude or for only eight dollars a month you can then integrate github so the coding i was just talking about you can actually get it to integrate that slack and discord integrations zapier forms admin ai brainstorming the whole thing only eight dollars a month so instead of paying a person eight dollars to dot definitely worth it check out dot it'll be the first link in the description below like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you in the next video take care